In this lecture, we're going to look at a tool feature scope. We use feature scope when you work with multi-body parts. And feature scope enable us to specify which body will specific feature apply or affect. So for example, we have this part and this is multi-body part. We have four bodies. As we see here in the feature manager design tree, we have four bodies. And now for example, we want to create a sketch here, a circle, and we want to apply extruded cut. But we only want to make a cut on this body and this body. Not on this body and this body, but by using only one extruded cut and only one sketch. So we don't want to create a sketch separately on each body, on this one and this one. We only want to use one sketch. And this is only possible with feature scope. So let's choose this face. Let's go to sketch. Let's create a circle. Let's put dimension of 60 millimeters like this and OK. And now let's go to our features, extrude cut. First, let's choose through all and let's click OK. Now we see that we have a hole through all bodies. But since we want to create hole only on this body and this body, we have to go back. So let's go to cut extrude. Let's edit feature. And down here we have feature scope. We have a few options here. We can go with all bodies selecting bodies or auto select when we have auto select this is on the standard cut extrude we have selected here four bodies and that means that extruded cut will affect all bodies that we have here but we don't want that so let's right click on it and let's clear selections and now we can choose on which body will be cut extrude applied so we want this body and this body and let's click OK. And now, as you see, we only have a hole here and here. And we only used one cut extrude and one sketch. If we want to change our selection, let's go edit. And let's clear this. And let's choose this one and this one. And OK. And now we have hole only on this one and this one if you want to hold through all let's go edit feature and just click auto select and okay and now we have a standard cut extrude and this is how you can work with feature scope and feature scope can be only applied when you have multi body part If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.